Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to Pokemon Sword. In the last one, we actually got our fifth gym badge, fought off with Opal, and actually ran into Beide and Hop again. Beide is apparently going to be training under Opal, is it what it looks like? And Hop, uh, he's gonna need some help, it looks like. Also, that's a Ponyard. Hello, bud. But let's sneak on by there, and actually, let's go fight this lady first. But right now, we're actually heading off to the sixth gym of this game, which would be right after we get through this area. And there's one more spot after this. There's two routes until we get there. I shall now closely examine the health of your Pokemon. Okay, you can try. I forgot, what's my Pokemon on my team right now? That would be a good thing to know. Hmm. What do we got right now? Oh, bugs. Okay, this is fine. We can work with this. Okay, Bugs, you know exactly what to do. Um, we only have two Pyro Balls left, so let's just use it and knock out the Roselia and then probably swap out because we don't have many Pyro Balls that we could throw out if she has another Grass-type Pokemon. And we don't know what kind of Pokemon we might be fighting because I know the next round is going to be Ice-type ice, ice -type Pokemon Hatchrum. Okay, that's a definite Pokemon swap because that is actually a Psychic-type. So let's go for Zil. Oh, no, wait. That's not fairy type as well. Um, hmm. Uh, you know what? Let's just go. Yeah, that's a hard question. Uh, let's just do Saitama. It may be psychic, but we do have knockoff on Saitama, so we can at least do some dark type damage to the Hatchrum. As long as it's not its final evolution. We should be fine, because then it would be a fairy type. I'm not sure if Hatchrum is a fairy type, though. Okay, it's not good. At least we know now, because it does eventually become a fairy type. So down goes a Hatchrum, and it was a critical hit. Keep getting them critical hits, my bud, because you are a you are pretty strong, honestly. Dr. Joanna is down. When Pokemon aren't healthy, it drags out our mood down too. I guess it would. 4,320. Thank you. And let's go up this ladder. So we need to get to this other side of this route. But we gotta figure our way through here. Mm, we might be able to go through here. What's in here? Shiny stone. Ooh. Cool. We don't have anything that needs to evolve via shiny stone. Hello, Ponyard. I'll slide. Ooh, item. What's here? 3x defenses. Eh. We can use it, I guess. Uh, I haven't had a need for X defenses in any of the Pokemon games, but, um, thanks, I guess. We can go left here. Where does left take us? We can go up this ladder here. We can see Phalanx, a new Pokemon. It is made up of multiple different Pokemon and its leader in the front. Smart Strike. Fancy. We can probably throw that on something. The user stabs the target with a sharp horn, and this attack never misses. Oh. I didn't know that it didn't miss. Well, that would be very useful, actually. Can we throw that on Saitama? That would not be a bad move to have on him, honestly. Let's see here. Nope. Um, I don't want Draining Kiss on you. Will-O-Wisp. Eh. Not seeing anything we can throw on that I would want to have on. Okay. Well, it was worth a shot. Well, we can still go down this bottom section. Nope. Okay. So let's keep following the route here, and we'll eventually get to where we need to be. Oh, okay, I guess we're fighting a girder. I don't need to catch one, though, so let's just knock it out. You and your big clown nose. <laughs> I don't know why, why that Pokemon has a clown nose. So, uh, let's just knock it out with a double kick. One, two, it didn't really do much damage. Hmm. As long as it doesn't knock me out, I'm fine with it. Rock slide. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, that hurts. Okay. We can't play around with this guy. Just use our final Pyro Ball. And then we'll have to swap out Pokemon for the rest of this route. Because we are definitely have nothing else we can use here. Okay, down goes the Girder. And free experience for us. What are we getting? Spooky went up a level, but... Some others are getting close to level 40, which is pretty good. Actually, we're getting pretty close to 
uh, having level 40 Pokemon, and it's been pretty quick, honestly. You're chasing me, and of course you caught me. I was kind of hoping I could get up that ladder, but nope, I guess not. Hmm. Honestly, yeah, we can't really knock you out with bugs, so let's just get out of here. See you later, Girder. I wish we did have another fire type move on us. When we get to the next town, we need to throw on another fire type move and just get rid of agility. We really don't need it because Bugs is already pretty fast already. So honestly, we could do pretty much fine. Let's see here. Who should be at the front? Um, you know what? I want Lindis to go up front. We don't get to use her too often. Bugs it needs to sit in the back for a bit. And that should be fine, honestly. I think we're good with that team. Okay, Bur Boulder. Uh, I'd rather not. <laughs> Ooh, where, why is this here? That's strange. There's a lot of Pokemon that can chase me here. And I was kind of hoping to go around the girder, because I really don't need the experience from wild Pokemon, since they really don't give you much experience. Depending if it's actually higher level than you which this one happens to be, so we actually do have to fight. So let's try the Apple Acid and see if we can do anything here. And thankfully it missed. Okay, here you go. Nice Apple Acid right to the face. How much did that do to you? Dropped your special defense. We can knock you out this turn. Rock Slide. That shouldn't hurt because we're Grass type, but it might flinch us. Let's see. Nope, it didn't. Good. Okay, down goes the girder, and we can go on past this little area. Thankfully, it went down in two hits, because I wasn't sure how strong Lindis would be, because she hasn't really got to fight off that much, and... Oh, she's pretty balanced in special attack and attack. Maybe we can use both. Also, Vince got a level. He's now level 40. Pretty good, pretty good, honestly. Poison jab. On who? Oh, on you. Uh, I'd rather not. Your special attack's better, honestly. And we already have a pretty good poison type move. So we could just skip past that. Uh, can't do anything there. Let's just jump down. We can go up here and grab the free Pokeball. Oh, there's a Golet here. Three Luxury Balls. Mm, money. Or we throw into a Pokemon into it. Honestly, let's get the Phalanx. I do kind of want to show you guys this Pokemon, because you might actually miss it if you go past this route and... You just so happen to not have one of these guys uh, coming out of its hole when you were running past it. So let's do the iron defense because it might have no retreat. Yeah, so that's why we did that. So no no retreat gives it plus one in every single stat. But the only thing about it is it can't leave battle. It's now stuck here. So if we use the iron defense, we'll actually block the plus one that it just got in its defense. Or not defense attack. <laughs> So we won't take as much damage. So let's use the Apple Acid. Can it use it multiple times? Okay, that's something I was wondering. So we can only use No Retreat once. So it's a one-time use. Special Defense went down. Hopefully we don't crit. This be would be the one time I don't want to crit. Because, oh, you got Endure. Cool. So even if we crit now, it's perfectly fine. As long as it doesn't have anything like Takedown where it can knock itself out. Cool, there we go. One more down. Okay, now we can try and go for the Pokeball here. So it's not a bug type, so you can't use the, the net ball on it. You can try, it might catch it. But, you know what? Let's do something fancy. Actually, let's use an Electry Ball. We just got him, so might as well try it. Let's see if we can get you another Luxury. One. Nope. <laughs> it was worth a shot. Another Endure. We didn't attack it, so it doesn't work. Um. Let's see here. I was kind of thinking the netball just because it looks like a bug. It's supposed to be... It's supposed to look like a uh, horned... A horned caterpillar of some sort. It's the same colors as the actual animal it's supposed to be based on. So it's kind of funny. But it's actually... It's really weird how it's not a bug type. Which, honestly, it might be for the best that it's not a bug type. Because it, it doesn't have as many weaknesses. As it could have. So honestly, it might be a good good idea. But if we can get this Pokemon, maybe the netball would be funny to get it in. Nope. Okay, we're gonna stop trying to be fancy. 
It looks like this one only has Endure and no Retreat, because it's not trying to attack us, which is kind of weird, honestly. Well, we'll just go for the Great Ball, I guess, since all our other Pokeballs are not working for this thing. Um, you're in literally red health. Why are you having such a hard time getting in my Pokeball? Um, please? Please get in the Great Ball? Um, are you okay there, Mr. Phalanx? Uh huh. I've never had such a hard time catching this thing. I'm pretty sure I can't get Ultra Balls yet, so why aren't you getting in the Great Ball? Strange. Reversal. Ow. I'm surprised you haven't been using that. Um, hmm. Strange. Can we throw- you're not heavy, are you? Um, that's- I don't know what to do here. It won't get in the Great Ball. If it doesn't, then we won't catch it, because I don't want to be here all day. We'll throw one more at it. If it doesn't catch it, we'll just leave this area. It would be a shame, but for some reason it just does not want to catch. Well, what's going on here? Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to knock it out because it doesn't want to get caught, so... And, of course, it uses under Enter when we go for that. Okay, maybe it does want me to try it one more time. Okay, we'll drop it to one, and if it doesn't want to catch, it doesn't have to be caught. Okay, one more. Let's try it. It's worth a shot, and I honestly don't think it's going to work, but if it does, I'm... Are you serious? Okay, I guess it did want me to catch it. It just wanted to be a troll a little bit. <laughs> okay, then. Level 38 for Saitama and 41 for Bugs. Cool. We can work with that, honestly. We're getting really, really high up there, honestly. Really quickly, too. Okay, Phalanx. The formation Pokemon. Pure fighting type. Five of them are troopers, and one of one is the Brass. The Brass's orders are absolute. Which is the one up front. Oh, it's 136 pounds. We might have been able to use the Heavy Ball, honestly. We'll send that to the box, since... We won't be using it on the team. It is a good Pokemon if you can run it correctly. So honestly, if you can learn how to use the Pokemon, more power to you because you will have a really good Pokemon to work with. We're going to skip by this lady. What's up here? Oh, just a big nugget? Okay, I guess we'll take it. We don't really need to fight her since she's not someone we need to fight against, and who could just run into? Oh, Dusclops. Very fancy. Um, we don't need it, though, because we don't have any means of evolving it in the base game. I would have to get a friend on just to evolve the Pokemon, so, hey, Rufflet, um, can I move from this area, or am I not gonna be allowed to move? <laughs> um, hmm. Please let me just run past you. Nope. Because I don't want to be just stuck on this route, because there's two routes that we have to go through. And this area is just so happens to be really small, so it's kind of hard to just run past everything. Because I want to just focus on trainers and not on wild Pokemon, since we're pretty good on our team, honestly. We don't really need the experience. Even though these are all level 40, and the next trainer is going to be like around level 40. But honestly, we really don't need the experience here. And we can get all the experience we need from these trainer battles, so we'll fight this guy. Hello. My live concert is open all, and you're, you'll you be attending. Okay. You're gonna do a live concert for me here and now, Mr. Charles, with uh, your cold grill? Okay, then. <laughs> okay. So you got to get a Maru. Electric... Steel, or no, that's rock, right? It's electric, like, it's either rock or rock electric or the other one. So let's just go for it. Fell Stinger, bug type move, might do some damage to us. It did do something, but honestly, it's not too bad. We can just throw an Apple Acid down. Try and get as much stats down on the Togetamaru. Okay. We're not going to have enough health to do a recover, so we'll just heal ourselves. 
And it's probably the best point of action here, so let's just go for it. Okay, cool. Fell Stinger again. We can't let it knock us out with that, and that seemed like it did a lot more damage. Hmm. Let's see, um... I would like to get one Iron Defense, since it is going straight for damage. Play a little bit more safe. Since I don't want to just swap out, because I would like to actually get to use Lindis a little bit, since she hasn't really got to really shine at all. Since she is supposed to be more of a tank, and I haven't actually got to set up at all. Since they go straight for damage and not actually setting up for, like, actual stats and stuff on the trainers here. The only time you'll actually get to see that is, like, during uh, the actual gym battles and also the battle tower in actual online play. That's the only time you'll actually see trainers actually setting up skills and stats, so that's why we're going to try and be careful here. Get as much defense up and then we can actually start doing what we really need to do. So we'll go for the six just so it, we can get the health back so we can use it in the next one. Ow, that was a crit. Ow. Okay, we have the at least times six now for defense. So we're per pretty much fine. And it looks like this Tegeta Maru here only has Fell Stinger. So honestly, it really isn't going to do anything to us unless it crits again. Yeah, I highly doubted it would do anything. Okay, we should be fine now to actually do what we want to do and completely dumpster this uh, Pokemon. So, Tegeta Maru, I hope you're ready for some Apple Acid, because you're not doing anything to me now. The only time you're going to do damage is by crits. And even if you get a crit, it's going to be not knocking me out in one turn, that's for sure. So, down you go for sure. And also, you are a Steel type. Definitely so. Okay. Still, it's not damage I want to take, though, honestly. I'm surprised it, why it only has Fell Stinger, though. That's very strange. Because when you think to get Omaru, you're going to think either electric damage or steel damage. And it's using bug type moves for some reason. Hmm. Guess the rhythm between me and my partner was off. Yeah, it was, honestly. <laughs> you're using the wrong stat boosted move for. You're not even using a stat boosted move, honestly. And that's kind of the wrong thing to do with that type of Pokemon. You want to be using the type that you are for each of your moves. And then maybe have something else just in case if you run into a different type of Pokemon. Phalanx, we already have it, so let's try and get away from it. Because that thing's going to hurt if we don't play around it correctly. There's an item in the corner there, but I don't want it to get ran into. Oh, oh King's Rock, what? Oh, okay, thanks. I thought there was an item there for a second. But there we go. We can actually start moving. There is also another thing over here. It's behind this crustal, though. Hmm. Let's see here. Do we have anything super strong against a crustal? Bug rock type. Saitama would be the only thing because Bugs is uh, decommissioned for a little bit because he has no more, more moves left. That will do a lot of damage. Crustal. Let's go, bud. That's a fun Pokemon. I miss using Crustle. Shell Smash is a good move if you want to have something fun to run on a Crustle. Focus Energy. Get as much crit as possible. Because this thing is going to be pretty tanky. X Scissor shouldn't do too much. Yeah, I, w I didn't think it would. Okay, let's try the Rock Smash. Hopefully it does some decent damage here. Guess we'll find out. Critical hit, but even with the... Hmm. We really didn't do any damage to it. Stealth Rocks. Okay, so if we swap any Pokemon into this, it's gonna hurt. Definitely so. Let's just keep going for the Rock Smash. Just drop in as much as we can. See if we can do anything here. Okay, down goes your defense. We should be able to knock you out this turn. And also, ow. Throwing rocks at my poor Saitama's face. Pretty rude. Good sir, here you go. One more rock smash, and down you go. See you later, Crustle. 
I know you respawn here, so we don't really need you too badly. So there we go, pretty good experience. We just wanted to get back here because I saw the TM. So we got Brick Break, which actually is way better than the uh, thing we're using right now for Saitama. So let's just get rid of Rock Smash and put the Brick Break on there because we can definitely use that a lot better. And it will do a lot more damage, honestly. Let's see here, we're going to go from 40 to a 75 damage move. That's pretty good, honestly. <laughs> That's going to make our power basically in the hundreds, just because we are a fighting type. And it's going to be boosted up because we're the same type as it as well, and we don't need to go that way. Let's just go through this next area, because our next part of our team is actually in this route that we're about to go in. Which is a little bug type Pokemon that I would like to grab. And it's pretty strong if you can get it. Let's see here. Is that it right there? Hello. Is that it? It looks like it. Yes, it is! Snum. So this little bug is actually going to be our next part of our team. But well, we need to go catch it first. It is a female. Let's see if we can knock off. I don't want to use fighting type moves because it will do damage to it. There we go. That should be decent enough. Struggle bug. That might hurt a little bit. Nope, it's physical based move. And since we're fighting, we don't take as much damage, but still. It's not something you want to take too much damage in general anyways. Mm. Honestly, let's see if we can use the Love Ball. It's the opposite gender of Saitama, so we might actually be able to use this. Didn't work at all. <laughs> well, uh, huh. Okay. I wanted to use something different, but I guess we're not going to be able to do that. So we're going to do something else then. Take a little bit of damage from the Hail. We can use the netball, it's a bug type. Let's try it. Come on, netball. You know you want to catch it. One, two, three, and catch. There we go. We got ourselves a Snom. So Snom is a unique bug type Pokemon. It is the first of its kind because it is actually a ice bug type. There is another, another any other ice bug in the series so far, so honestly it's pretty unique. The worm Pokemon, it spits out thread imbued with a frigid sort of energy, and it uses it to tie its body to branches, disguising itself as an icicle while it sleeps. An ice bug type. Snom. Let's name you... Hmm. Oops, I... <laughs> that was the wrong button. Let's name you... Let's try Lizzie. That sounds fun. Lizzie seems like a decent name, and we will be adding you to the team. We just gotta figure out who we're gonna be swapping you out with. Um, the next gym is gonna be a rock type, so anyone that isn't gonna be doing good against rocks should be booted from the team for now. So Vince, we'll see you later, because you are gonna be taking way too much damage to the rock types. Okay, cool. Hmm, anything more fancy here? That's a Sneasel, and it's way too fast. We'll go back for that Pokemon Trainer, but I want to at least walk into this town. So this is Chinchester, the Ice Town, and one of the other exclusive gems will be at here. So this one is actually the Rock-type gem in Pokemon Sword, and in Shield, you'll actually have an Ice-type gem. Her name is actually Melanie, and she's pretty cool. She actually has a gem... Like, kind of like Wallace's from Pokemon, like, Sapphire, Ruby, and then it would be a different gym leader in Emerald. I forgot his name off the top of my head. So, but yeah, that's where you would fight it. So right here, or what it would be, it's kind of like their, their gym because the floor would actually drop on you if you don't go in it in the right order. So, let's see here. We should probably try the Lotto ID. We haven't really won anything, but... Let's see if we can win something. Can I win big? Mmm. Rough luck. I, that's happened to me three times in a row now. And I accidentally healed again. Oops. But yeah, it's that lot of ID thing is kind of hard to get what you really need from it. Because it's not going to be on your side too much, in my opinion. Because I've yet to win anything really good from it. And honestly, 
there really isn't much for it. Oh, we could have gotten on Ultra Balls. Oops. Uh, let's just buy 50 of them, just so we have them. Okay. There we go. That should be good. And let's get on out of here. So, let's go fight that Pokemon trainer real quick. Snom needs some levels, though. If Or, actually, he needs friendship as well, because that's how it's going to evolve. So, honestly, getting some, some friendliness for it would be nice. But I don't know if we have any friendliness stuff for it. Nope, nope. That's not going to work. King's Rock, Shiny. Nah. I don't think any of these are going to help me for now, so we can't use those. None of these are going to help. Pokeballs aren't going to help. Oh, we should have threw it in a Luxury Ball. Oops. Uh-huh. Okay. So we really don't have much we can use in the in terms of raising its friendliness. So we're just going to run it normal without it. So let's see. I think we can at least use one thing on it. Maybe some moves. Try and teach it something. So far, it doesn't look like it can learn much at the moment. Snore. Nah. Yeah, we don't have any TMs or TRs for it. So, we won't be using you yet, but we will eventually. And now we just gotta figure out what this guy right here is gonna be using. I'm gonna have bugs out front just in case, because then we can at least have something high damaging for this police officer here. But who knows. Gym Challenger, if it's alright, I will be your training partner. Oh, you're gonna train me? Cool. Let's do this, bud. Mr. Bobby. Okay, Officer Bobby, what you got? Arcanine. Oh. Well, I could, I should have expected that. <laughs> it's kind of weird that you have a fire type out in, the, in a hailstorm, but okay. Let's see here. You dropped my stats a little bit, which is kind of rude. Hmm. I didn't expect you to have an Arcanine, though. Rip. And we don't have a water type to actually deal with you, since we don't have any kind of rock slides or anything. So, all we could really go for is damage. So, let's just go for the damage, then. And that does nothing. Well, uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna do about that. Thunder Fang, that's gonna hurt. Mm, not as bad as I thought it would. Honestly, maybe just going for the Pyro Ball might be better here. Let's try it. It may be not very effective, but we have a lot of damage behind our Pokemon already, so it might still... Yeah, it did a lot more damage than just going for the Double Kick. So yeah, it was worth it. You have Fire Fang. Why are you using Fire Fang on a Fire type? That makes no sense whatsoever. I thought your AI would be smarter than that. You should have just went for the Thunder Fang again. It was doing some decent damage, but Fire Fang's not going to be doing much. Here you go. One more Pyro Ball to you, and now get out of my way. Okay, what's your next one? Come on, throw something fancy at me. The Arcanine was an obvious one, but... Ooh, Lindus is now level 40. Cool, cool, cool. So Thomas still needs some more experience. Dragon Pulse. Honestly, better than the Body Slam. Let's just throw that on. There we go. Now we actually have some more damage behind us, and we can use Dragon-type moves now. Which is definitely a good thing. Okay, Bolt Hunt. Okay, that's different. That is fancy. Okay, so that's a pure Electric-type Pokemon. We still don't really have anything against it. But we can use our new move on Lindus, I guess. Let's try that. I'd rather go for that. So, let's see here. Bolt Hunt is going to be pretty fast, honestly, so it's no matter what, it's going to be faster than Lindus. So, let's just go straight for the Dragon Pulse. So I don't... Okay, it's definitely going to be attack-based one, because it gets Strong Jaw. And if it's using only Biting moves, it would be doing more damage than it would normally do. And that was a lot of damage. Jeez. Okay, Lindus, you definitely got a Power Spike. How much damage was this doing? Oh, barely anything different. Hmm, okay. Let's just do use an Apple Acid. Oh, why am I faster than you now? Were we faster beforehand? 
I thought the Bolt Hunt would be really fast. Because it gets really fast if you yeah, evolve it. Because I know Yamper is really slow, but I could have sworn... Hmm, weird. My Pokemon did their best, but they couldn't compete. Good luck in the future. Thank you. And thank you for being my training partner. Honestly. Thank you, Mr. Officer Bobby. And we are actually done with the route. And we can actually start heading towards the actual gym leader. So let's heal up one more time. I might want to remember some moves since we don't have anything in the way of TMs that are actually going to help us greatly. So let's just check what moves we can relearn. Oops, I don't want to write a nickname. All my nicknames are good. Okay. Let's see. Remember a move. There we go. So we want something physical that's fi fi fire type. So let's see what we can grab. Counter, no. Flame charge. It looks like flame charge is the only other thing we can grab, so... Let's just grab the flame charge. It's better than the agility. We really haven't been using it, so... Honestly, let's get rid of it. There we go. Not bad. Anyone else need moves? Um, Lizzie could learn something. We haven't seen what moves she could have learned. Oh, she can't learn anything. Okay, then. Hmm. Let's see here. I don't think anyone else needs anything. How about Zilt? What can Zilt learn? Peck, Iron Defense. Iron Defense, ooh. Fancy. Very fancy. Hmm. But I probably don't need it. Yeah, we'll go without that. Okay, there's one more Pokemon I know that could probably learn something, so we might as well check. Uh, actually, no, we actually should be fine, actually. Yeah, I think we're fine. We don't need anything else. Okay, I think we're pretty much set to go to the next gym. So let's start heading up there, shall we? Have we healed, actually? Look at me forgetting that we healed. <laughs> Okay, I think we got everything set. And there is the next gym. I forgot what your name is. So, um, I know you have rock type Pokemon, so... Oh, hey, Hop. What you want, Mr. Hop? Did you do good? Uh, I went and lo lost it. It all went pot. Oh, you lost? There must have been something wrong with my strategy, but I did just what I've seen Lee do. In battles. Here, take it. It's the Rock Leader's League card. You should check out the Gym Leader. You'll have to face two. Oh, Gordy. That's his name. So, Gordy, the Rock-type Gym Leader. And me? I've gotta figure out what to put on my team. Once and for all. And no more of this doubting. Yeah, you need to figure out what's going on your team, because you completely took off some of your Pokemon. Okay, Mr. Pokeball. We should probably grab whatever you have. I'm not gonna bother reading you, because I know you're a weirdo. Thank you for the Moon Ball. Pretty good, I guess. I don't think we have anything that needs a Moonstone on our team, so thanks, I guess. Okay, we should probably look into items. Oh yeah, we could have looked through here for stuff that Bugs could have learned, I guess. I don't see anything fighting type. How about Stone Edge? Nope. Hmm. Seed Bomb? No. Nope, nope, nope. Nobody, nope. So far, nothing. Very much nothing. Hmm. Dads and Gleam? Nah. Okay. Yeah, bugs can't learn anything here. You turn, but he really doesn't need a bug type move. Hmm. Well, rip on that. I was kind of hoping we can get a better fighting type move. We could use Revenge, but I think it makes you slower if I remember correctly. You have to wait till the end of the attack phase to do your damage. I'm surprised we can't learn Brick Break. That would have been fancy to have. Uh, revenge, let's see here. The attacks moves power is doubled if the user has been hurt by the opponent in the same turn. Hmm. Honestly, it could be better than the double kick. Let's check, though. I do want to double check that. Yeah, let's just go for it. Extra damage if the Pokemon happens to be faster than us, we do some damage. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. Okay, I think we're actually ready. We might not finish this gym in this episode, but we can at least try. Welcome, Gym Challenger. Do you want to attempt the gym mad mission? If you want to attempt the mission, you then you'll need to change into your uniform. The dressing room's that way. I'm just going to do her, her voice as my regular voice, because honestly, 
They're always going to say the same thing. Make sure to receive the trap detector up ahead, too. You're going to need it for this gym mission. Oh, it's the same gym mission. Because you need the trap detector in the other one. I hope it's going to at least be differently themed. Okay, yes it is. So this one, it looks like you'll fall through the floor for it being quicksand, it looks like. The other one is ice. Okay. Would you like to hear the details of the gym mission carried out here in Chinchester? Then allow me to explain a little about the trap detectors you hold in your hands. The reason you'll need it is simple. There are invisible pitfalls everywhere in here. If you fall into one, you'll have to start again from the last port platform you've reached. The detector will vibrate when there's a pitfall in front of you. The closer the hole, the stronger the vibration. Okay. Then on, on with you and good luck. Okay. So how this works? Can you hear me? Try to feel your way through and trust your senses. So my controller is actually going to vibrate. I'm not sure if you'll hear it and I accidentally walked into that because I was it really paying attention. Which you really do kind of want to. You want to follow how your controller is vibrating to find your way through here. And there we go, we got through the first part. We should probably check who's on front. Yeah, Bugs really doesn't need to be in front, um, since this is a rock-type gym. Uh, probably Lindis up front with, uh, Saitama would be the best bet, and then probably like that. Yeah, that sounds like good. Okay, let's fight off with the first person. Hey, you! You used to be- Hey, you used to walking around in Chinchester Stadium yet? Um, I think so. It's pretty, um... It's exactly like the other one in Pokemon Shield, so, um, yeah, it's exactly the same. Boldor. Hmm. Rock-type. I forgot if it does turn into a ground-type. I'm pretty sure we've actually seen one. Nope, we haven't. I'm pretty sure it's- it's a rock-type. It might have Sturdy, though. So... Nope, but this one doesn't have Sturdy. I'm guessing this one has something else of some sort. Well, it does have something else of some sort. It's just that I don't know the exact ability it could have had. Level 44. And that was pretty easy. I thought you had a different Pokemon. You battled so competently. I see you've got to have confidence. 3,648. Thank you. I'll definitely be using that. Hmm. I think we have to go through the left side, if I remember correctly. Nope, I accidentally moved forward because my... I accidentally tapped it. I was supposed to do this. There we go. Hmm. Nope. Nope. This way. Nope. Stop moving. Okay. There we go. First one done. And now we'll get to see how the pitfalls are reacting in this area. Okay, I got close there. I almost ran into... That's it. That's the ticket. Take a deep breath and focus. Okay. So we're gonna have to go for the left one first, more than likely. Can we go left? No, we can't. Can we go up? We can. Okay. Doesn't look like it wants us to go up too much further. Okay. That one's not safe. So we're gonna try and go around. Okay. So far so good. Slide over. That next one up next to me is not safe. There we go. I just wanted to be careful. I didn't want to fall through a pitfall so we can get to the first one. Rock types are really, really, really amazing. Yeah, they're pretty cool. There's some pretty good rock types out there. Okay, Kiara, what you got? Crustle. Oh, we just fought one of those. And that's a bug type, so bug rock. So I was right on that. Okay. Honestly, it's probably better if we just go for the Dragon Pulse. More damage. Stealth rocks. I don't think it has high special defense. I could be wrong, but I do know it has a lot of defense. That's why we weren't really doing damage just to it with Saitama. So, yeah, I was right. It has low special defense. Unless you build it up. X-Scissor. Ow. The one time that I run into a Rock-type Pokemon with my Grass-type, 
and it just so happens to be a bug type. I should have got ready for that damage, but I knew it wasn't going to one-shot me because Lindis is tanky, all things considered. And we're getting close to having all four level 40s. Did I make you understand how amazing rock types are? Um, yeah, I know rock types are pretty cool. I've run a, I've ran a couple of them in the past. I know how cool rock types can be. Mm, that next one is not safe. There we go. Okay. I should... I don't know if you're going to have another crustal I have to deal with. If you don't, I'll be fine. Gordy's amazing qualities, number one. He's cool and fashionable. Hmm. I would think so. Oliver. Okay, Oliver, what you got? Carcoal. Fire rock type. Ooh, that's not good. That's really not good. Recover. Hopefully we're faster. It's faster. This is gonna hurt. Oh, never mind. You have zero attack whatsoever. Oh, wait, because we're grass type... Or, because we have the dragon typing, we actually don't take as much damage from you. So we can actually take take on the Carcoal. Okay, I was... I completely forgot about you having dragon type because of how much damage the other Pokemon did to us earlier. <laughs> the Crustle did, I should say. I shouldn't just say other Pokemon. Crustle did a lot of damage to us because we had the grass typing. But since this guy's not doing anything to us, we might as well grab a free recover. Hopefully this thing doesn't crit again. Okay, it didn't. Good. And then we'll knock out the Carcoal here and get to the next part of this area. Because there's still one more section we need to get through. Okay, one more Dragon Pulse. Ancient Power. It's gonna hurt, but it shouldn't hurt too much. Yeah, we're fine. Down goes the Carcoal. Bye-bye, bud. Nice try, though. Honestly, you scared me at first. Because I really thought I was going to take a lot get, take a lot of damage to your fire typing, but... Nope, you're not doing anything. If you were an ice type, maybe. Gordy's amazing qualities, number two. He's lively and stylish. 3,744 Poke Dollars. Thank you. Hmm. Can't go that way. We gotta go right. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Gotta go all the way. Over. Left. No. I went down. I was already standing on that. What? And, uh, I'm not being safe now. I was kind of hoping I remembered the exact path I was supposed to take. Up. This way. This way. Through here. Up here. And safety. There we go. I thought I wasn't standing on that and I fell through it. That's what happened there. If I did know that I was already standing on it, I would have just went right and then went around. I might get a bit harder to see. It might get a bit harder to see now. You have to carry on not knowing what lies before you. Oh, dear lord. It's exactly like Melanie's. So there's a sandstorm that's going to make it so we can't really see where we're going. Um, we can go right. Can't go up. Oh, wait. I didn't want to go all the way up, stupid. <laughs> it's the Joy-Con drift that just knocked me out that time. You can't go that way. Left. So far, so good. Up. T tiss, tiss, no rubbing your eyes. Okay. Nice and slow. That's how we're going to do this. Because we need to find our path. Okay, we got the next platform. Um. Oh, we got a platform here. We'll just follow this. No hesitation, your only choice is forward. Okay. Keep going. Hello. Gym Challenger, I know you're there. Okay, I know you're there too. I saw you uh, before I even saw you on the screen. Wendy. Okay, Wendy, what you got? Sudowoodo. Pure rock type. And I accidentally thought you were actually rock grass type. Because I always thought that without... Because I've never run a Sudowoodo. I always, I always expected it was just a rock grass type, but I've played so many games with it that I just don't just worry about it because I always just use a something that's gonna I know that's gonna knock it out because I use a lot of water type Pokemon. So I guess I should have noticed that if I was doing enough damage there, but well, down goes the Sudowoodo. It really didn't do anything to us, and it's not too scary, honestly. 
Especially if it's run by an AI. If it was run by a normal player, then maybe it would be scary, but nah. Bugs and Lindis, both level 42, and Saitama is just almost there. He's almost halfway. And down goes Wendy. Even though I knew you were there, I couldn't see a path to victory. 3,744, you might be the last trainer in this area, because you gave me more money than the other people have. Hmm. Safe up here, maybe? Nice and slow. Failure opens your eyes to things you couldn't see before. True. If you fall through something, you're going to eventually... Mm. Can I go this way? Up. So far, so good. Something up front is in my way. So far, so good. I'm going slow because I don't want to fall through again. Don't let yourself slip up now, not this close to... The... Now that you're this close to the end. I think if we go right... Yep, if we go right, and we are at the end. There we go. Sorry for being a little bit silent during that little part. I just did not want to fall through that and have to start back at the beginning of the previous platform. And there we go. We are done with this gym, gym mission. And we are completely done with this part. You did wonderfully, just wonderfully. Now go gym challenger, join me on the pitch. Okay. So Gordy is literally right next honestly gym mission cleared and that's gonna be actually in the next episode so as always keep being spooky have a great rest of your day and thank you for watching hey guys and girls i just want to say thank you for watching today's video if you liked everything you saw today please leave a like and maybe even subscribe and hit the bell notification if you want to see more thank you all for watching and Peace out.